हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नीरज आई विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई विश दिस ईयर ऑल्सो वी विल लर्न ए लॉट एंड वी विल डू ए लॉट ऑफ गुड वर्क सो लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ लर्निंग एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गुड वर्क दे आर ऑल वेटिंग फॉर अस इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम सो लेट्स गेट बैक टू वर्क एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू टू अवर चाई रोटर एंड एच टी एम एक्स डेमो एप्लीकेशन सो in the last uh, session so we have completed our uh, business logic to render the article list and remember like uh, this is our application running so the idea here is that we will have two buttons over here one is to one button would, uh, would be to load the article list and the second button would load the product list so let's do that so first of all so we will work on the our this uh, uh this uh, post handler and uh, we will need to render the uh this data the data which uh, the post data to our template so there can be several ways to load the template but for the sake of simplicity so i am going to use the same uh, template dot parse files method and uh, in the template directory i am going to create a sub directory so i'll explain why i am going to use use that that uh, the idea here is that this uh, route handler like post handler they are they they mean to retain only the chunk of data and not the full template so that is why the, it is better to have the sub directory so that we can uh, uh, organize it in a very organized fashion okay and inside the passage directory so i will create a file and let us call post dot html and uh, dev and uh, let us have a h3 tag let's say article list okay and uh, also in the index.html so we will add those buttons so i'll have a dev and then button and level as article list and uh, one more button would be there and let us call it product list and uh, here so we will have a uh, start our hx gate to make our ajax call so it would be to posts and hx target would be that would be to i mean the container where we are going to load the data so this is our user user info or better let us change it to something meaningful so let's say content container that would be more meaningful i think so so we will assign this i mean the data is going to load into this uh, container and we will also need to provide the hx swap method and that would be inner html so that way so let us also test it as well and maybe we will also need to change here as well okay so let us test it so we will refresh it so clicking on article list so this is this is this is the simple string which we are returning and this is the uh, this is uh, this is the previous route what we had created okay why there is a error in the database sql row. okay 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 my fault actually so since uh, we we closed the db con but actually so it returns the it returns on rows so instead of the db con so we should use rows dot close method and not the db con okay okay so that was a bug actually no problem and now so since uh, we have uh, created this uh, template so let us render the template so we will create a few 
few variables so i am going to use a make method create a map of a string and uh, here in a state of a strings cause our data our uh, this map value can be arbitrary it can be integer it can be string or it can be an object list of data or another map or a struct or or just anything so i am going to use in a state of uh, uh, a string i am going to use it interface interface and uh, we, uh, we will provide the data the key would be post and we will assign the variable post and also let us have a key of uh, let's say heading and let's say call, call it article list like this okay and uh, we will use again need to execute need, need to parse the template so we will use the template package and we will use the parse files and uh, we very simply will provide the templates dot this is and the name of our template so this is post dot html and uh, i'll execute it and uh, we'll need to provide the response writer and the variable and, and the data what do we have to pass and it also may return some error so we will collect it and uh, we will check if error is not nil then we will say log dot panic or print nl print ln so whatever so this is up to us so we will say error in tpl execution okay so let's uh, test it so we come to the chrome so clicked on the article list so we are getting this article list also we should also need to get right of this uh, the response writer dot write okay so this way so we have uh, we have passed this this uh, data to to our template and inside our template so we can also replace since we have the where the data variables so we can replace it like this heading and uh, i am going to start a uh, ul and uh, i'll use the range method to iterate through the list of uh, our post and uh, post and uh, end and i'll have a uh, li and uh, our first uh, uh, in the post uh, table so we are having a column as id and the second one is title one extra curly braces title so this way so it should load all the article list so let's see that so yes first uh, article having id 1 and the post second post and if, when we click also nothing happened because we didn't uh, make the bind this button but when we click on this click me so we are getting this uh, the data from the previous uh, route route handler and when we click on this so we are getting it correctly so this way so our this is uh, i mean super super fast and uh, very easily so we made the, our ajax calls and uh, we loaded this data and we set that that uh, data in a very effective and very efficient way in this container so that's all for this uh, session and uh, however uh, our this uh, ui looks uh, very simple so i got a suggestion from alan to use the tailwind or any other css so, so in the next session so we will add some uh, tailwind uh, tailwind styling 
to our this application to make it uh, a more appealing and uh, and uh, more beautiful okay so till then so take care and uh, if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in some next session so till then take care and happy coding